G'day folks, in this video we look at these three inserts turning, facing and parting off some aluminium. While you digest the data that's on the screen there I'll just say that my previous two videos led to this one being created. In those videos I looked at the difference between moulded and ground parting inserts. I also looked at an insert which I think is just a steel insert that's been polished and it's being sold as for aluminium. Right, that's more than enough intro, let's get into it. That's the ground insert that was just turning there. There it's facing a 1mm deep cut and now it's parting. And you can see it's throwing the chips out of the groove rather nicely. And at the same time I'm recording the ammeter reading so we know how much power it's using. Here the first reading is for the turning and the next reading is for the facing which is why it starts high and reduces as it gets into the centre of the part and the next reading is for the parting. Next is a still shot showing the highest reading that I got in the video when parting. Here's the steel insert turning quite nicely. You can tell it's the steel insert because of the coating and it does its job quite nicely. There are some photos at the end of the video that show the surface finish that these inserts produced. The next ammeter shot is the same as the previous one. It'll be turn, face and part. And it's a little sped up to stop you dying of boredom. High reading for the steel insert, just under 5 amps. And this is the polished insert, which I think is just a steel insert that's been polished to a degree of total bluntness. However, doesn't much matter what I think, it seems to be doing quite a good job. And the surface finish that it was produced was quite good too. Once again is the amateur readings with turn, face and part. And you can see there it's just a bit over 5 amps. So we just flick through these quickly. That's the ground insert just over 4 amps. That's the steel insert just under 5 amps. And that's the polished insert just a bit over 5 amps. Is the ground insert finish. And you can see it's quite a good finish but I've got a whirlpool effect. I've seen that before but I've got absolutely no idea what causes it. Here's the surface finish on the steel insert. Really not bad. Here's the surface finish of the polished insert. And I have to admit, it's hard to tell the difference. The main difference I see is that the polished needs just over an amp more than the ground insert to do the same thing. Your opinions in the comments please.